how to read newspaper for the UPSC civil services examination. We all know that newspaper reading is integral for the UPSC civil services preparation. In fact, it is very much crucial for obtaining marks in the examination, especially in the main stage of the examination, barring uh, static syllabus such as geography, history and ethics, nearly 60 to 70 percent of the questions in the mains examination can be answered by reading the newspapers alone. So newspaper reading is very much productive for the examination. Not only for mains, even for preliminary examination, reading newspaper is a must because most questions are centered around recent events that have happened in the last 6 to 12 months. Now, how to read the newspaper? How to approach the uh, newspaper reading? So, most candidates have this doubt in their mind. How to read the newspaper? Uh, Hindu is the most prepared, is the most preferred newspaper among most candidates. The biggest question is, do I need to read the newspaper fully? If I read the newspaper fully, word by word, it will take at least four hours, right? Uh, whether this is needed? Absolutely not. There is no need to read the entire newspaper. In fact, it is a useless exercise reading the entire newspaper. What you need to do is to read only those sections that are required for the examination. Have the syllabus in your hand. Please have a printed copy of the UPSC syllabus, both prelims and mains, in your hand at all times. Read only those part in the newspaper that is relevant for the syllabus. Please ignore everything else. Right? So, read only those things that are found in the syllabus. Uh, newspaper. The topics which you need to read in the newspaper can be broadly classified into these. Science and Technology, Indian Polity, Constitution, Social Issues, Social Welfare Schemes, International Relations, International Agreements, Bilateral Agreements, and um, economy economical concepts indian economy related issues and events so these are the things which you need to uh, follow in the newspapers apart from this miscellaneous items such as sports related uh, news and uh, awards you can just follow these also but these are of very little importance so please track the important part of the syllabus now what are the things which you need to read in the newspaper Hindu newspaper is the most preferred among most candidates in India. We, we all know that. Uh, Hindu newspaper, reading the Hindu newspaper, please remember that the newspaper can be divided into three parts. The first part is the main page, the first page of the newspaper. It contains important events of the day, both national events as well as international events. You have to read them. This is a must. Okay. So around four or five uh, news would be there in the first page of the newspaper. So please read that and take notes fine the second part is the middle part of the newspaper which contains the editorials editorials are articles which contain expert opinion on various issues so so these are found in the middle page of the newspaper third part is the last portion of the newspaper the last three to four pages that mostly contain international news as well as economy related news so Basically, follow three, these three parts of the newspaper. Main page, editorial and the end part of the newspaper. Apart from this, the, next, the, the rest of the newspaper is largely uh, irrelevant for the examination. Entertainment related news, city news and other stuff, please ignore them. They are not needed for your examination. But there may be some mm, important news in, uh, in the section as well. For example, if we turn the second page of the newspaper you will find city news in the hindu in the hindu newspaper these news are are largely not needed for the examination but even in this there may be certain things which you may need to follow for the examination for example you may read an article regarding urban local bodies in the city news section uh, for example there may be a news regarding uh, allocation of uh, funds to the urban local bodies these may not this this news is not directly relevant for the examination but it is indirectly relevant how you, uh, you might have studied about urban local bodies right so these come under democratic decentralization so this is relevant for the examination uh, various government reports such as the administrative reforms commission 
and other commission they have spoken about urban local bodies they have spoken about giving funds and giving additional authority to the urban local bodies so if you are reading some news that is related to urban local bodies just note that also so so that is also indirectly uh, related to your exam syllabus okay now speaking about the main syllabus how to read an article mainly in the editorial part of the newspaper now speaking about editorials editorials are actually articles written by experts so these experts they could be anyone they could be uh, uh, they could be a retired government servant they could be a serving official in the government for example an official from niti ayog he might be writing a article so an article is generally an opinion given by an expert the expert may write his or her own opinion always remember there is no need for you to just take that opinion as such okay you need to study both the pros and cons of any issue within an editorial if you are reading about india's relationship with iran you must know the pros and cons the advantages and disadvantages of india's relationship with iran this is how you must study an article so always don't just go by the uh, expert's opinion study both the pros and cons uh, before that when you look at an article uh, generally most people while looking at an editorial they will feel like oh my god what is this this is a huge uh, thing uh, i mean how do i read this there is no need to uh, feel like that in fact editorials there is an the, uh, there is a easy way of reading the editorial and an editorial may occupy an entire page in the newspaper but you need not read the entire editorial line by line find out what is the crux of the editorial find out what is the main meaning or the main thing which the editorial is trying to convey for example there may be an article in the editorial on make in india program so find out what is the crux of the article the, the crux of the article is make in india make in india is what it is a flagship program of the government to develop the manufacturing sector in india it is to improve the manufacturing capability of india to increase our exports to increase our gdp to reduce our dependence on foreign exports to increase the job opportunities in india to give employment opportunities to backward section of society to skilled and un- unskilled laborers so so these are some of the various advantages of uh, make in india program so while reading an article find out what is the crux of the matter what is the main matter and find out what this scheme is is going to do for india this is how we must uh, read the article there is no need to uh, 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 study the article line by line and there is no need to memorize the facts and figures there is no need to memorize uh, when this make in india on which day this make in india program was launched or at which place this program was launched by our prime minister mr modi etc so no need to memorize facts and figures in the editorial upsc never expects you to memorize facts and figures even in the notification upsc notification is clearly mentioned that upsc is not expecting you to memorize things UPSC will always check your conceptual ability how you are understanding things how you have understood the concept and how good you are analyzing various things so this is what UPSC requires from you so editorials will help you develop your conceptual and analytical abilities so read the editorials in a proper manner uh, now speaking about this editorial make in india so first thing what is this editorial is about it is about make in india scheme what is the motive of this scheme secondly what are the advantages of the scheme and after this advantages the uh, the writer may also have highlighted the negatives of this program for example he may even raise a question on whether make in india will really lead to make in india for example under the make in india scheme we are attracting foreign companies to invest in india but whether it is really leading to manufacturing uh, sector uh, efficiency whether it is really leading to creation of jobs in india so uh, this is the main question in india even after launching the scheme we are not engaging in uh, uh, in r&d in india in research and development in india so make in india scheme is largely serving as a import dumping scheme in india so far what we have to do is we have to indigenously manufacture various goods we have to manufacture automobiles we have to manufacture electronics we have to manufacture aeronautical goods so this is what a real make in india scheme means it it just does not mean attracting foreign companies to invest in india and just dump their products in india so it has to be actually make in india 
so this has to be further it has to be developed to indigenization of products so it should be really make in india okay make in india by indians by the true brains of indians so this is what a real make in india program should be so these are the various pros and cons of make in india scheme so this is how you must read an article take notes from the article list out the pros and cons while studying an article study the article in various dimension for example if you take land reforms for example you might have uh, studied about land reforms if you take about if you read an article about land reforms just memorizing stuff will not help land reforms has many dimension there are caste dimensions in land reforms political dimensions are present in land reforms geographical dimensions are also present in land reforms so there are many dimensions to an issue if you take land reforms in india even till now land reforms are not a are are not a success in india in in many states of india land reform is a dismal failure why because there are many issues in land reform there is a caste nexus between zamindars farmers and other people which which lead to non implementation of land reform so there is a caste based dimension in land reforms there is also a scientific dimension in land reforms why based on the nature of geography based on the nature of the soil based on the climate based on the area land reforms may be a success or a failure land reforms may be a success in the fertile plains of indo gangetic plains in north india but it may be a failure in the dry regions of gujarat or rajasthan so there is a there is a scientific geographical dimension to land reforms as well and there is a administrative dimensions to land reforms also red tape administrative inefficiency corruption in administration these all have led to failure of land reforms so this is the administrative angle in land reform so whenever you are reading about a issue you must read the various dimensions of the issue so this is how you will be able to develop your conceptual understanding and analytical ability so read newspaper in this manner never use the newspaper to just obtain facts always use the newspaper to obtain knowledge use the newspaper to understand various concepts okay understand the concepts and af- only after understanding the concept you will be able to analyze the concept by yourself nowadays upsc is asking the candidates to give their own points of view especially in the mains examination so only if you understand the concepts of various issues you will be your analytical understanding will increase so use the newspaper to good effect and newspaper reading most candidates ask this question whether i need to take notes definitely you need to take notes if the exam process takes around one year uh, starting from say january to the end of the year until the end of mains you should have at least 500 to 600 pages of gs notes from the newspaper alone trust me this will be greatly immensely helpful to you for prelims mains as well as for the interview part so please don't be lazy when it comes to taking notes from the newspaper please take daily notes from the newspaper if you take new uh, if you take notes from the newspaper you can revise them again and again it will help you greatly and also certain topics you can directly note them down and the same stuff you can directly write in the mains examination like i said in the make in india scheme if you just list out the advantages and disadvantages of the make in india scheme if the same question is asked in the mains examination you can just list out the advantages and disadvantages which you have noted at your home you'll get very good marks you'll get very good marks so this is how the newspaper reading must be done at the start uh, uh, when you start reading the newspaper definitely will take more time it will take at least 2 hours at the beginning what uh, what i advise for most people is that just uh, continue reading newspaper please please don't neglect it i have seen many people who will start newspaper reading and after some time uh, they will get frustrated they will stop the process this is very much uh, uh, this is uh, wrong please continue with newspaper reading once you start reading the newspaper once you start understanding the concept naturally the reading time will drastically reduce 
after two or three months definitely the time will reduce to around 40 to 45 minutes the reason is let us say if you are reading an article now you will be able to understand the concept if the same article if the same news it comes next week you won't be able, uh, there is no need to spend the same amount of time in that if the same news comes after one month the amount of time you are going to spend on it will be even less so naturally the amount of time you spend on the newspaper will gradually reduce after some three or four months so please invest on newspaper reading it is very much productive for the upsc mains examination